Good afternoon, everyone, um, and welcome to the session on supported housing models in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. Uh, this is the last uh, plenary session before uh, the award ceremony and the dinner. So, dear panelists, um, I think we will have to give the best of us uh, to uh, finish the second conference day with uh, powerful messages and food, not for the dinner, but for thought. So, uh, my name is Carmen. I'm development manager at EASPD, uh, which stands for the European Association of Service Providers for Persons with Disabilities. Um, EASPD is a European network uh, representing a the views of 17,000 organizations, um, support services, and their uh, umbrella associations from 33 European countries. Um, our main objective is to promote uh, uh, the rights of persons with disabilities through high quality service systems. And beside our policy work uh, in Brussels with uh, the European Union and the, and the Council of Europe, uh, we support our members in the design and development of um, individualized support services, and we also support the exchange of information and innovation. So that may be one of the reasons why I'm here today. Uh, because from the service perspective, we think that um, there are key elements uh, of an innovative uh, service model, uh, person-centered planning, co-production, user involvement, and technology. And indeed, we have quite a lot of that uh, here today with us in, in, in this panel. Um, I'm very happy to, to have with me uh, seven people representing five organizations, and they all have something in common. They, their work is uh, contributing uh, to move from institutions to community-based care, and they all are leading organizations in their country, uh, identifying the patterns for a sustainable uh, change. Uh, that is particularly the case uh, from our first speaker from Romania. So uh, we have with us Cesa Cerasela, sorry, Predescu. Uh, so please, you, you can introduce yourself and, and then you can uh, uh, present uh, your, your, uh, your practice. Uh, I just remind you that you have nine minutes, uh, so please uh, uh, be on time. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Cerasela Nicoleta Predescu, and uh, I am representing Proact Support. I like to say in some very few words that Proact Support is a Romanian NGO who is deeply involved in the institutionalization of people with intellectual disabilities while it's promoting community-based uh, services. Um, Please allow me to give you a very short overview about uh, what's happened in my country, just to have a, a deeper understanding about the context we are operating in. Uh, currently, there are, um, I hope I can manage. Uh, currently, there are um, over uh, eight. 100,000 people with disabilities. The number increased since I sent the, the presentation the last year. And um, out of which 18,000 are people being institutionalized because they have a disability. Um, we have quite a complex legislation. We have a piece of law. We have standards uh, for quality uh, for the services. We have methodological guide. We even ratified the UN Convention for Disability People. We have methodological guides, procedures. We have um, an administrative structure full of institutions which sometimes overlapping in their roles. But even if we have such a complex structure, a piece is missing. The, the essential piece is missing, and this is the vision. We don't have any vision with regard of people with disability. 
what they need, what kind of services, how to structure this, and how to respond better to uh, their needs. And secondly, it's about the lack of implementation. What we are doing, so we help people to get out of the institution and build a new life in community, in uh, community-based services. I have to be clear from the beginning that it's not about moving people from one place to another place. It's about people who spend their life in institution, who were abandoned since birth, who doesn't know to read and to write, and who doesn't have any elemental skills to live in the community. So it's a work from the beginning. Um, we have 11 services in this moment. All of them are licensed. We have 45 people living in community since 2012 when we opened the first community service. 100 people benefited from our services and 17 people are now living independent outside of any service, enjoying their life, having a quality of life they desire. Uh, we are very much focused and believe it is a value, in fact, uh, of a normalization model and person-centered uh, approach. But uh, what makes us uh, a model? And I will underline five reasons why I consider we are a model. Um, first of all, it's about the people, the way we approach the people with respect. We give uh, individualized support. Uh, and we have um, services with one client uh, inside and other services with six or seven clients. Uh, secondly, it's about the services itself, the way we uh, think the services. They are localized in urban, urban and in rural area. Why? Because we have people who uh, get out of the institution from rural area and they like small communities where there is a high sense of solidarity. Uh, people who are used to live in agricultural activities and they prefer to stay in such small communities. While we have people who have been deinstitutionalized from big cities and they, they, they don't like to live in, uh, in a rural area and they prefer to stay in urban area. That's why we have the both. Uh, possibilities. Secondly, uh, we have services with full support 24-7 because we have lots of people with severe intellectual disabilities plus mental disorder. We have services with partial support while we have services with no support inside, but we have a mobile team serving uh, the whole 45 people living in, in the services. Uh, also, we have a model of uh, owning uh, some of the locations, but mostly we rented the apartments and the flats uh, like anybody in the, in the community. The third aspect is related with the uh, importance of the roots. We realize that people are blocked in their past because they don't understand what's happened, why they are in institution, why they have been abandoned. Maybe they are ugly, maybe they are bad, maybe they don't deserve to be a child of anybody. And grew up with these feelings and are quite insecure and they don't live in the present and even are not able to, to look in the future. And we never underestimate the power of the past, and we are working to clarify the past, to bring the family if the family exists. And we have cases when we discover the family after 24 years. It took us like more than one year to find a family and somehow to reconnect people with their family. And it's important. It's not always with happy end, but it's important to get all the answers as adults. Um, also, uh, the, the third element, which is also a value, it's about flexibility and creativity. We are flexible. We are flexible, flexible in anything. We don't hire staff forever. We hire staff to serve people with intellectual disability. And if uh, the job is finished, we ended the contract with the staff. For example, we uh, hire a cook just to uh, help people to prepare their meal. And when people were ready and uh, able to prepare uh, their food, we, you know, we finished the contract with the cook. 
Uh, also, it's important to be flexible, and even if the standards oblige us and um, uh, mention that we have to have specialists allocate per each service, we imagine like a mobile team uh, composed by psychologists, uh, social workers, vocational therapists, uh, psychiatrists, and these people are serving people with intellectual disabilities. And they are doing in informal manner, maybe in a park, in a coffee shop, maybe in people house, um, in the places the people wanted to, to get these services. Um, we are creative because we are preoccupied by, by our uh, cost because we would like to uh, this model to be expanded and to be taken out uh, over by the by the state. We are very much uh, preoccupied by our cost, so we develop a kind of firm, a farm, a turkey's farm. We have chicken, we have some pigs, we have animals, we have rabbits, and this is a good opportunity to procure our food from our garden. It is a possibility for people who are not allowed to work to have meaning, meaningful activities and not pretend to do something which they don't like it, and also to, to have healthy food for the people. Um, we are concerned about the staff, we provide training uh, as a way to get motivated people, and we have a, a supervision system, a professional system of supervision in place once per month for the supporting staff. Also, it's important uh, to be sustainable. All our 11 services are contracted by the state authorities, and they pay like 70% of our services. Uh, the good news is that uh, in the near future, the standards cost will be updated, and this will give us a chance to reach the full sustainability. And we are um, impacting on an individual level, working with people. We are a grassroots organization, but also at the higher level of the level of poly public policies, being involved in elaboration of the national standards, the national strategy for disability people, and now we are working to develop uh, quality standards for uh, community-based services. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, thank, you, thank you very much. Uh, indeed, it's very nice to, to, to see what you say, that if we are trying to develop personalized support plans, we don't only have to look at the future, but also to look at the past. So uh, everything needs to be taken into account. So uh, let's go now to Serbia. Uh, we have with us Miriana. Uh, so as, as before, please introduce yourself uh, and then um, you have uh, nine minutes to do your presentation, so the floor is yours. Mm, hello, everyone. I am Mira, and I, I come from Novi Sad, Serbia. Today, I want to tell you about community-based living project I'm involved in. Uh, first, I uh, will give you a little background. Then, I will explain how what, what, what we are doing is different, um, and then I uh, we'll share with you some of our success stories. And uh, finally, um, I'll tell you about our hopes and um, desires. Um, I'm very honored to be here and so excited uh, to, to share our story. So let's start. Uh, my school is the elementary and secondary boarding school, Milan Petrovic. This is a special school. This means for children with different disabilities. Some of our pupils live with their parents, some travel, and some live at the boarding house. Each pupil has his or her own set of needs and challenges, and our school provides different types of support to them and their families from birth to adulthood. This is not common in our educational system framework in Serbia, and it is uh, uh, what makes our school the most famous special school in Serbia and in the region. Traditionally in Serbia, people with intellectual disabilities are placed or put away or hidden in institutions. In most cases, this happens uh, while they are, they are still children, without their consent and without respect for their personal needs and desires. Uh, we wanted to change this, to find alternatives to putting people in institutions. We wanted to create conditions for children to stay in their natural environment and with their families. And so we de developed uh, local support services that provide support in various segments of life, education, 
uh, and rehabilitation, but also during free time and socializing. All of these services improve the quality of life for children as well as their families. The reason I'm here today is to tell you about one of the most important services we have developed. Uh, this, this service is supported li living in the community for adults with intellectual disabilities. It is simple. Main two things we are working on are to move people out of institutions and to prevent them from ending up there in the first place. To do this, we need uh, to create and implement unique long-term support programs that enable persons uh, with intellectual disabilities to live outside institutions. Uh, uh, think about uh, um, your day so far. You woke up at the time you chose. You had coffee or tea or juice. You chose uh, if and what you'll eat for breakfast. You chose your outfit. Uh, maybe you decided to take a walk. Maybe you stayed in and watched TV uh, and so on. Seems like nothing special, but it's a luxury that people in institutions don't have and the reason why our project is innovative. Why? Because our users can stay in their local community and have some choice where and with whom to live, like all of us here today. They are supported by sensitive and well-educated assistants, and uh, supported is tailored according to their abilities and their interests. They are encouraged to do uh, as many things as they can and want on their own, whether that is taking responsibility for money, housework, cooking, cleaning, ironing, choice of clothes, using public transport, socializing or working. We, are support, uh, we support them in everyday activities as much and as long as they need. Some of our users need all day support and more assistance, while others only need a few hours for some specific activities, such as paying bills or going to the doctor which, if we are being honest, uh, we, are, we all need sometimes. Uh, life in a small home community is completely li different from life in institutions. Users them themselves decide on things that matter to them. They take responsibility for their lives in whichever way they can. Uh, this project uh, consists of many activities. Most important ones are related to providing material resources to enable independent living. Uh, together with our users and taking their specific needs into account, we are also trying to make individual support plans. These plans are meant to support their growth and development as much as possible. Our biggest fear was securing funding and a lot of our effort and energy was invested into this quest. Uh, our, uh, our activities were financed by Mental Health Initiative Open Society Foundation, Serbian Ministry of Employment, Labor and Social Affairs, and from the budget of local city government of Novi Sad. Uh, our program started in 2005 with three users, parents with hearing and speaking impairment and their baby son who has intellectual difficulties and visual impairment. The goal was to prevent the child ending up in institutions and being separated from his family. Now, the boy is finishing elementary school and still living with his parents. Not only that, but today, 14 years later, there are 42 adult users with intellectual dis dis disabilities in the program living in 13 apartments in the area of Novi Sad. We managed to ensure stable funding uh, thanks to the understanding of city government. Our constant information spreading and lobbying for the rights of people with disabilities have led to changes in the legal regulations. Uh, we are most proud uh, of the changes, uh, cha changes we see in our users. They learn to live in urban condi conditions as free citizens, to get in touch with their, their neighbors, to choose what they want to do. When you look at each of them, changes are noticeable. They are more independent and their self-esteem is improved. On this photo, you can, uh, you can see Jovan in a bakery where he works. He left an institution in 2010, finished education and became a baker. Uh, before coming to Novi Sad, he lived in several different uh, institutions from which he ran away a couple of times. The program is also a significant source of support for users' primary families 
uh, because parents and relatives are less concerned about what will happen to their loved ones once they can no longer care for them. Uh, here is some interesting data about, about our success. Out of 32 users, nine left the institutions, where they spent most of their previous lives, and three are now employed. Some of them have found life partners, so uh, now there are three couples. Age range is from 28 to 68 years old. In some apartments, pet animals such as dogs, uh, cats, rabbits are welcome, where users, uh, users want to take care of them. Uh, uh, uh, we are striving to further expand project activities, keeping in mind the needs uh, of potential users, as well as fin financial capabilities of the city government. Our progr programs are developing and being refined, but our team is also working on spreading information. We are sharing our, our experiences and helping other organizations in Serbia develop similar programs. Uh, this is the hardest, most beautiful, and most important job I have ever done in my life. Uh, through it, I have changed uh, personally and professionally. I have learned what is really important. I believe that all people should live free and that institutions and the asylums should no longer exist. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mirjana. In, indeed, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to see people as committed as you. And um, that, that's it's really the way uh, we, this, the service providers, can, can, can really uh, advance into the implementation of the UNCRPD. Um, I would like also to, to mention something that you did in your presentation, the importance of supported decision making from the early childhood. Uh, we really need to uh, avoid this issue of, you say, taking decisions shouldn't be a luxury. So uh, that is something extremely important in relation to, to supported housing. Uh, now we go uh, a little bit uh, towards the east. <laughs> uh, we, ha we have uh, with us um, Anna um, from um, from Kazakhstan. Sorry. <laughs> so um, at the same as, as before, please introduce yourself. And now you are aware of these uh, flashy lights in front of you. Uh, so please, uh, would like to, to hear from you. I'm Anna Kudyarova from Almaty, it's former city of Kazakhstan. And just interesting fact that 13% of my country belongs to Europe. So not so far from Europe. <laughs> and my story is about love. Uh, I am sure that you see love between our team is love to beneficiaries, love to specialists, love to parents, and love back to our team. And we love very much this yellow color because it's color of sun, color of kindness, color of gold. And we hope that everybody will get rich and happy. Uh, for almost 15 years, we are doing training, seminars, schools of psychosocial rehabilitation and, and social entrepreneurship. Why? Because uh, I said that it's my story about love. Many years ago, I fell in love one with some Austrian man. His name is Sigmund Freud. And for 15 years, I was seducing my governmental people that psychoanalytical approach will help our schizophrenic, our psychotics, our beneficiaries in close residential institutions. But finally, in 2015, my government ratified UNCRDP. And then they will seek for us, for our team, and now we are together. And uh, in 2016, government gave very big, huge building for our first social entrepreneurship, for social enterprise training cafe. And each of our beneficiaries is working at our second two training cafes. And in 2017, again, one big happiness, uh, government gave us money and we took out from the residential institution 20 beneficiaries, and now they live independently. And first of all, our main aim is independence, and our vector is direction from totally dependent living to fully independent living. And we call very proudly that it's a freedom, 
house, uh, love house, uh, joy house, uh, independent house. And five, uh, when we started our project, we had just two houses, 10 and 10. And um, one um, specialist with uh, her husband and second specialist with her husband, they lived together, 12 people in one house. But it was not dependent living, it was not a regular, normal living. And so now we have many houses, many apartments, because our psychoanalytical team, we know that uh, we should count uh, psychological matching. And now not more than five people lives, uh, live in one house or in one apartment. Uh, one girl uh, was returned to her family. And two uh, people, uh, beneficiaries, they live totally independently. We help them, for instance. How we help them? Uh, every week, each of them has two hours of individual consultation and two hours of group therapy. Because we are psychoanalytical team, we try to change their conscious, their inner world. Many of them had no super ego. It means no control. Some of them had very cruel, very sadistic super ego. And now we help them to soften, to love each other, to love themselves. Sure, as in Romania, as in Serbia, as everywhere, it's a very innovative step in my country too, because never ever in Kazakhstan government uh, let us to take out 20 beneficiaries. It was very closed. Uh, maybe I spent half a year, six months, just to, to be let to go inside of that residential institution. And now we are friends with that institutions. And our uh, guys are very happy because they live independently, they learn self-control techniques, they buy groceries, they pay utility bills, they open bank accounts, they open deposits, and for sure they are now mature and they can take responsibility on their shoulders. And I told uh, already that it's a very innovative approach and we are uh, happy and we are ready to share our experience. It's a psychodynamic approach and I'm an alumni from Care Europe Recovery Model. So um, every day, every day from the morning till the end, it's psychology, psychology and rehabilitation, rehabilitation. Uh, our impact, we are very happy that second NGO followed us and second NGO took away, took out from a residential institution 20 beneficiaries. And then third step, government opened mini residential institution just for 20 people. And now 60 people, they are out of the closed residential institution. But still we have 700 people in one place and so we have very, very big task and many, many projects. But we are friends with that institution and we always help them. We help their uh, specialists and we help their beneficiaries. And we hope that our project is sustainable because uh, government uh, promised to support us for three years, but then uh, it, it would be not pilot project, but maybe it's forever. But uh, this year, two people uh, from our project, they will, um, they will be our alumni. So we will take two more people from residential institutions. And last year, just for one year, we trained 450 specialists working in mental health field from around Kazakhstan, and plus two, three people from Uzbekistan, but 15 or 20 people in Kyrgyzstan, it's our neighbor countries. And it's better to see just once than to hear 100 times, so please, short video about our project. Please, help me. Я счастлив, потому что у меня есть дом. Потому что дом наполнен друзьями. Потому что у меня есть работа.
потому что я многое могу. Свобода — это жизнь, жизнь — это чудо. Чудо — это когда я свободен. Я очень сильно счастлив. I will finish, yes. Uh, I promised and I invited here Austrian colleagues and I promised to give them one idea. Uh, my uh, last slide was welcome to Kazakhstan. Why to welcome? One day ago or two days ago? No, it was yesterday. <laughs> uh, Martin Essel promised to give $25,000 if someone from uh, Austrian colleagues will take some experience from outside to Austria. So welcome to Kazakhstan, take our experience, and we will be friends with you, my Austrian friends. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, that's definitely a good invitation. Uh, something to consider. Um, and it, it's something also you've mentioned during your presentation, the, the, the need to, to have friends, to establish partnership, to, to not to think that um, amongst also service providers we are fighting each other. No, I think that that's a, it's a very important uh, message. Um, so now uh, we have with us uh, Nermin. And before you start your presentation, I would like to, to say something. When I was talking to, to, to him to prepare the, um, the session, he told me, literally, it is very simple. We chose the hardest way of providing services. Wow, that's a, a great contradiction. So please explain us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Carmen. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nermin and I will be presenting innovative practices from Bosnia and Herzegovina established and developed by uh, Sumero, an NGO I'm representing. What is the starting point for this innovative practice? Uh, briefly, it can be said it is a lack of choice and lack of hope or perspective. Uh, lack of choice means that people with in intellectual disabilities in Bosnia have no choice once they are left without family support or any other chance to stay in the community. Their only way is to end up in institution. Lack of hope or lack of perspective means that once they end up in an institution, they stay there for life. Today, there are more than 3,000 people in Bosnia living in institutions. Sumero as an organization, is an umbrella organization in Bosnia-Herzegovina for advocating the rights and support for persons with, with intellectual disabilities. What is specific for Sumero? Besides advocating, Sumero has become a service provider for support in local communities across the country. We are proud to say that even though Bosnia is a non-EU country, we are associate members of umbrella organizations on the level of EU, uh, Inclusion Europe, and European Network for Independent Living. It provides us to be in the mainstream of modern European uh, practices in the field of social policies and social services. Community-based services are not an innovation, but if you start to develop such services in a complex uh, conditions, and such conditions are provided in Bosnia and Herzegovina, then it can be says, said it is an innovation. 
We all know what independent living in local community results in. It is unquestionable to compare life in institution, to speak about respecting human rights and all other rights guaranteed to people with disabilities and all other people. The state of Bosnia and Herzegovina has ratified the UN Convention a decade ago. We have state policies, we have strategies, we have local action plans. So you have all those documents needed to be there. But when it comes to practical application of those documents, we can say that there is a standstill in Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is a map of my country. And the red spots you can see are local communities where Sumero has established and developed community-based services for people with intellectual disabilities. Today's numbers say that there are 80 people within that support in 25 houses in eight local communities. When you see that through numbers, those numbers are not uh, big in total number of people in, in some kind of need for support, but that number is sufficient, sufficient to establish a model that can be replicated. What is the innovative aspect of community-based support developed by Sumero? The freedom of choice is fully respected. And that could be the, the, the main part of the hardest path we have chosen, the Carmen has mentioned at, at the very beginning. Uh, there are no posed standards to people how to live their life. There are standards in providing support services. Another innovative aspect that we have established and developed is sustainable grounds. Complex states such as Bosnia and Herzegovina still provides positive conditions to develop sustainable services. Sumero has a model that relies on three pillars of financial or resource sustainability. It is a mix of state resources, project resources, and resources from uh, income generating activities. Just a simple example, to, to, uh, to sit on the safe grounds, you need a chair with uh, three sticks at least. So what is the impact? The state can use this model as a model for transition from institutional model, uh, model of uh, social services to community-based services. Once the state has signed and committed to fulfill all the obligations on, the, on its path to European Union, it still needs to understand how to implement it to implement it on the field. Sumero has literally decoded with deep details of a model. It means that uh, there is a model for NGOs who want to become service providers. There is a process of transition from operating as an NGO to operating as a service provider. There is a model for state-run institutions, instead of closing, how to be transitioned to community-based services. There is a model for existing service providers, how to enter formal relation with the state. 
there is a startup model how to establish first housing community in a new local community which does not have any support services developed. Lots of innovative practices are within this model. There is even a package how to replicate the model. There is a model which explains how to prevent, for example, professional burnout, how to educate professional staff in a state which, uh, whose uh, official education system does not provide education for, for assistance, for example. And lots of other packages that can be replicated not only by territory, but also to other categories of people in some kind of need, in some kind of need for support to live independently. It's not just about people with intellectual disabilities. Do you, do you have one more minute? Sorry. So, I will, I, uh, Carmen, in a preparation, said, Nermin, please choose three key words to highlight what you are representing. I would say those words would be reliability, responsibility, and choice. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much also for your keywords. Uh, so sometimes uh, I think uh, we, we also mentioned that it's not an easy way. But that doesn't mean that it's an impossible way. And um, it's very good to see that uh, you have a practical model. And also that practical model includes a staff. Because in making the transition, it's of course so very important to, to train and retrain the staff so they can, they can um, work in the, in the, in the new uh, model that it's uh, an empowering model. Um, thank you very much. And, and now um, I will go to my right. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a time for couples. Uh, so uh, we will start uh, with uh, Dabut Rehimli. Uh, from uh, Azerbaijan, and um, he will do the presentation together with uh, his uh, interpreter. Çox sağ olun, təşəkkür edirəm. Mən Davud Rəhimli, Azərbaycan Əli Təşrifatları İttifaqını sevdiyəm. Thank you very much. I am very glad to see everyone here. I am from Union of Disabled People Organization of Azərbaycan. İlk öncə təşkilatımız haqqında qısa məlumat vermək istəyirdim. First of all, I would like to give an information about our organization. Azərbaycanda 60-a yaxın əlilli olan şəxslərin təşkilatı var və onların 41-i əlilli təşkilatları ittifaqında birləşmişdir. There are about 60 non-governmental organizations in Azərbaycan and 41 of them are joined in our union. Əsas məqsəd əlilli olan şəxslərin və təşkilatların əlilli problemlərinə diqqətini yönətməkdir. The main goal is advocacy and lobbying for the protection of rights of people with disabilities in order to create an inclusive society. Təqdim edəcəyimiz təqdimat... Can I have the uh, machine for the slides? Təqdim edəcəyimiz təqdimat əlilli olan şəxslərin mənzillə təminatına aiddir. The presentation material is about the housing of the people with this the people with disabilities. Azərbaycan Respublikasında əlilli olan şəxslərin mənzil özlərinin mənzil təminatı 
təminatının edilməsinə müəyyən çətinliklər var? There are some problems the social housing with the disabilities people. Əlili olan şəxslərin işləyə bilməmələri və sosial müavinətlərin az olması səbəbindən onların mənzil almağı çətinləşir. Because they have some difficulties to buy housing and the reason is limited access to education and enjoyment opportunities because of limited environment accessibility. Buna görə də qəbul olunmuş proqram və layihə əsasında əlilliyi olan şəxslər növəlliyə əsasında təmənnasız mənzillə təmin olunmağa başlamışdır. And also in the low benefits provided by the state. Bu proqram Həm hökumət, həm də qeyri-hökumət təşkilatları ilə bircə həyata keçirilir. This program is provided by the state and non-governmental organizations. Program 97-ci ildən həyata keçirilir. This social housing component of the state program on region, social economic development has been carried out of in Azərbaycan Republic since 1997. Hazırda təqdim etməkdə məqsədimiz proqramın icra müddətində olunmuş dəyişikliklərdir, müsbətə doğru olmuş dəyişikliklərdir. Okay, the main goal is social welfare for people with disabilities. Əvvəllər əlilli olan şəxslər üçün evlər tikiləndə ayrıcə binalar tikilirdi və bu insanlar birlikdə bir binada təqdim etməkdə. Əlilli olan insanlar yerləşdirilirdi. Okay. Yeah, just now purchase of apartments in buildings which are built to general residing. Sonradan qeyri hökumət təşkilatlarında təkidi, monitoringlərinin nəticəsi əsasında bu mənzillər verilməsi başqa formada həyata keçirilməyə başladı. In terms of accessibility, universal design principles are followed. Positive changes in the psychology of persons with disabilities increased self-confidence and self-motivation. Hazırda mənzillər əlilli olan şəxslərə müxtəlif digər əhali qrupunun yaşadığı binalardan alınır və inkluzivli təmin olunur. Just now, the housing of people with disabilities is providing. Və eyni zamanda həmin binalar və həmin binaların ətrafları accessibility cəhətdən əlili şəxslər üçün uyğunlaşdırılır. Okay, and these buildings are accessibility, with accessibility for the people with disabilities. Burada əsas naliyyətlərdən biri də odur ki, mənzil tikintisi ilə məşğul olan kampaniyalar bilirlər ki, tendirlərdə iştirak edəcəklər. Onlar aksesibilitini özləri artıq axtarıb, tapıb və tətbiq edirlər. Okay, solution of problems for problems is creating a family, empowerment through community management activities, Digər tərəfdən əlilli olan insanlar artıq icmalarda yaşamağa başlayırlar. And at the side, expansion of the program each year geographically, financially and increasing by increasing number of provided apartments. Və eyni zamanda bu insanlar üçün mənzillərin daxilində də bütün şəraitlər yaradılması nəzərdə tutulur. And also at the same time, There is accessibility inside these flats and housing. Programın dayanıqlığı ondan ibarətdir ki, bu program davamlı olaraq dövlət büdcəsinə salınır və bu növbəti ildə bunun üçün 5 milyon dollara yaxın vəsait ayrılmışdır. The project of implementation is included in the state budget for the next year. Lakin ayrılan resursa baxmayaraq bütün əlilli olan insanları qısa müddətdə mənzillə təmin etmək mümkün deyil. But it's impossible to provide all disabled peoples. Və bu əsas problemlərdən biridir. 
And these are the main problems. Qeyd etmək istəyirək ki, bu proqram tək payitaxt Bakı şəhərində və şəhərlərdə deyil, eyni zamanda regionlarda da yerinə yetirilir. And these problems are also not in the capital Baku, also in the regions. Lahiyanın davamlığının və dayanıqlığının təşkil olunması üçün qeyri-hökumət təşkilatı silahlili olan şəxsləri sistematik olaraq ula mənzillərin bölünməsində və monitoringlərin aparılmasını təşkil edir. Okay, the use of quota system will be used to provide apartment for person with disabilities of various categories in subsequent years. Buna görə də qeyd olunan tendirlərdə iştirak edən bütün təşkilatlar əlili olan şəxsənin ehtiyaclarını nəzərə alırlar. Diqqətinizə görə təşəkkür edirik. That's why all non-governmental organizations and other organizations take care about the needs of disabled people. Sorry, the time is over, so can you conclude your presentation? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Um, well, uh, indeed, that would you touch uh, a, very important, a very important topic, and it's um, accessibility issues and, and the need to take into account um, both social and urban local planning when we are developing the, the, the, the different the housing, housing models. Um, so I guess it's, it, it's also extremely relevant uh, to cooperate with uh, real estate uh, developers. So we are approaching the end um, and we have with us, and last but not least, our friends from Hungary, the most difficult names to be pronounced, but I will do my best, uh, Ergi and Marianne. Uh, please tell us about uh, the, the, the very nice things you are implementing in, in Hungary. Köszöntök mindenkit. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to everyone. Szekeres Erzsi vagyok. My name is Erzsi Bet Szekeres. Ennek a szervezetnek az alapítója és vezetője. I am the founder and the leader uh, and president of this uh, organization we are the talking about. De legelőször is anyuka vagyok. But first of all, I am a mother. A fiam 43 évvel ezelőtt született, súlyosan halmozottan fogyatékosként. I, I gave a birth to my son uh, 43 years ago, and he born with a dis uh, with multiplied disability. Ezért fogtam több mint 30 évvel ezelőtt ebbe a munkába. And that's the reason why I started this work. És minden, ami megszületett, az a fiammal közös program. And everything what was done until that time, it's a common work with my son. Sajnos nem tudok angolul, ezért átadom a szót a kolléganőmnek, aki bemutatja ezt a programot. Unfortunately, I'm not speaking English, so that's why I'm going to to present this program about about our program. It's an integrated house in in Hungary, Chamer. But uh, first of all, I would like to tell something about the background. It's not only the it's not the only house. This integrated house in hung, in our organization, we have uh, some other residential homes in the institute. I mean, in the, in the organization, but we are not talking about the integrated house. The background is that this is a, a, a foundation in Hungary. Uh, non, it's a non-profit organization where, which has been operating in social care system for people with disability for 30 years. Uh, it provides service like housing, social and medical care, uh, free time activity, supported uh, employment, employment. It operates along the following principles, normalization and human rights approach, and based on continuous innovation. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. This, this is the next one. <clears throat> uh, to develop a methodology of this housing, build up a house with 15 accessible flats was a response to an accepted demand. The clients are families or elderly parents with an adult uh, disabled child or, or just uh, disabled couples. 
The DSS is complex service close to the rehabilitation center. They have or they own property, independent and safe life. Uh, the house is a block of flats, you can see on the picture. Uh, it has 14, uh, I mean, it has 15, 15 flats, but 14 private flats uh, designed by the needs. Resident can ask for help anytime because there is an extra flat. The 15th flat is for help who belongs to the center. And the main tasks are uh, contact to the families and they can get medical support uh, in the activity or daily daily function living living functions so they can they can help support uh, if they need uh, for from 4 p.m. to to 9 a.m. so the, the service can reach for 24 hours per day and <clears throat> The center organizes 24 hours, yes, and the scarce emergency, if some, somebody has any kind of problems, they can, they can give additional help within five minutes. Five minutes. All the can re request uh, services from the rehabilitation center on the basis of personal contact. The center provides solution solutions flexible on several areas. They get uh, meals every day. They can have if they want. They can, all, they can cook in their own homes as well. They can get healthcare, uh, free time activity, therapies. We have a little therapy center. It belongs to the, to the center also. And they can get, they, they can get a crisis management also. Uh, there are three most in innovations of this housing. The first is that support can be complex for all the family members, not only the, the, the disabled people. The second one is that after a loss of parents or a child, it, it happened, uh, the child can have, they, they can, the rest of it, so, so the family members can stay in the same flat with the same conditions for everyone, and, and uh, the same uh, their environment. The third one is that it gives safety and independence life at the same time for them. Uh, the, the housing is financed and operating by the individuals, individuals by the families. Uh, there is no because we don't give, we don't get governmental financial financial support. The sustainable the sustainability is based on the family's own re resources, and guarantee is the rehabilitation center's background. We would like to show you now a little video to to see how it looks like. This is a house, what you have seen. And there is one home. Have a nice day. Come in. Hello, my name is Zoltan. My name is Mihai. Hello. Hello, Mihai. I can look around? Yes. Thanks. Since the first years I live in Germany. I live independently here. I have to live here. I have a pincher. Pincher. Private room. I have everything. I have friends. I must have work here too. The center is need have 
in a diamond. I left Shepherd Way. In the band delay, the steel taken door definitely. Michi, Nicolette, friends. Yes, there is. Michi and Nikki, thank you for the report. Beautiful life. Beautiful life. <laughs> okay. So, what are our next steps? Uh, it's uh, in the future. So, to to write the best practice know-how for the for the professional field, because we think this innovation is adaptable for the social service suppliers. We are planning to serve the families on the waiting list. And, and build the, the new house as soon as we can. So, and let me just finish with a, with a sentence, what a mother uh, wrote who has a nine, uh, 49 years old man who, who needs support, high support needs. Let me, uh, just uh, after having difficulties during long years feeling our entire family safe, I cannot describe what it means to me. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, Ergi and, and Marianne. It's, it's, it's obviously uh, it's great to see that, of course, families and, and parents are, are the, the, the strength behind the, the, uh, the, the model. And it's also um, good to see that uh, we always need to, to find a way to identify cir circles of support that are close to the individual. Um, this is one of the, of the things we, we saw from the video. So now I think we have 10 minutes, more or less, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so uh, we will, uh, I will open the, the, the floor to, to the audience. So please, if you have a, a question, raise your, your hand. I would like to take, uh, if there are more than one question, and, and then the, the panelists will reply uh, all, all together. So I see there is one over there. Um, OK. <laughs> so. Uh, I am Frank from Enil, and I have a question for Mariana from Serbia. It was, wait, I will move a bit. Yes, <laughs> it was very uh, interesting to listen to your example, but I have a question regarding um, the, the school and the, the service you provide. Um, my question is, in order to make sure that it is inclusive and community-based education that, that the students received, I would like to ask if it's possible for the students that get education at the school to also choose to go to a different school, or in the different way if it is possible for students without disability to also attend this school, and then all the students can continue after being in the school to go to mainstream universities. Um, thank you. Uh, just wait, wait just a, a second. Do we have more questions? Okay, then please. I can assist in translation. Ma mogu, ali ne idu, nisu svi polaznici naše škole, od ovih 40 trajkovih ih imamo. Not all persons who receive support services are students of the school. Uglavnom su odrosli. They are mostly grown-ups who already finished education. Yes. Not boarding school, not institutions. Okay. Via email. Okay, so perhaps you, you can uh, talk uh, after the, the event and, and you can give a, a more um, elaborated re reply. It's not always easy you know, when, when we are uh, uh, on the stage. So um, if we don't have any more questions, 
Okay, I know it's, uh, it's the last session of the uh, afternoon, but uh, I have energy for two or three panels if necessary. So uh, uh, I will be open uh, giving some questions to, uh, to the panelists. Um, I would like to, to know, because this is something, of course, so I, I, I can see from your presentations, there is the issue of the availability of housing as such, and the funding um, streams streams behind the projects you, you are doing. So um, do you want to comment maybe on, on, on how uh, are you approaching the, the, the funding issue in, in your country? Which kind of a strategies or vision, as, as you mentioned at, at, at the beginning? Uh, I don't know if uh, some of you want to, to comment on this. Nermin, please. Yes, first of all, uh, I think the service provider, in case of being an NGO, needs to be recognized by domestic system of your country. So besides that the service is in line with UN Convention, uh, it needs to be in line with domestic uh, uh, legislative. So you are being recognized as service provided. What does it mean in practice? You are no longer funded through project funds, but you are entering contractual relation with the state as a service provider. And that is one of the key pillars of sustainability. In practice, I don't know for the cases today where you can apply for a project where budget lines are food, uh, utilities, rents, all that should be the co uh, expenses covered by the state. And that is financed by the state. What the state does not want to finance, I'm, I'm saying the experience from Bosnia, there, there are no state funds for innovative practices or for upgrade, upgrading the model. For that, you need to seek another co-financing um, sources, sources. And the third one would be uh, income generating activities where service provider itself establishes new activities uh, which fully include uh, users of support services to generate income for the whole system of support. Um, some words about uh, what's happened in Romania. We are uh, a licensed uh, social service provider. Uh, that means we are able to get funds from the uh, public authorities. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, all our uh, services are uh, financed by the state. The problem is that the state uh, do not cover the entire cost of the service. And here is uh, playing the creativity. You have to find ways to cover the difference. That's why we um, set up a turkey's firm. That's why we set up two greenhouses. Uh, that's why we uh, made partnership and we are in process of setting up a social enterprise. Uh, but yes, uh, you are right, we have to be in compliance with the, uh, with the standards and the rules uh, in, in our country. Burada bir meselelerini qeyd etmək lazımdır ki, grantlar hesabına davamlılığı təmin etmək olmaz. Grant hər hansı bir müddət ərzində olur və sonra o qutarır. Uh, we will note that uh, not only on the grants it may be used. Uh, bu da vasitələrdən biridir. And this is also one of the tools. Ancaq ən yaxşı variant odur ki, bunu dövlət proqramına salaraq davamlı bunu inkişaf etdirmək. But the best model is to include this to the state program and the provide the sustainability. Bunu həm qanunvericilik tərəfdən təmin etmək lazımdır, həm də ki, hökumətə, qeyri-hökumət təşkilatlarında dəstək lazımdır. Okay, and the, also the support of non-organization uh, non-governmental organization also. Thank you very much. And Anna, you also wanted to say something? Yeah, first of all, I would like to emphasize that we should be friends with our governmental officers. Now we have many, many open-minded young people in our government. 
And second, maybe funding, it's our social enterprise. For instance, our social cafe, training cafe, it's very profitable social enterprise and we can give money to our beneficiaries. Uh, so thank you all for, for your contributions. Um, uh, I would like to, to conclude with a, with a few sentences. Um, I think uh, there are very nice elements uh, in, in your presentation. Uh, I'd like the, we need to be creative, and creativity, of course, is it, it's something very, very important. But also something I have here, and, and this has, there are a lot of strategies, plans, and sometimes, and we know that the, the, the elephant in the room is, is, is the practical implementation. Uh, so, of course, things are not uh, easy, but I would like to, to take the opportunity to, uh, uh, to comment on one um, project that is called Top House. It's a project uh, we are doing together, ESPD, with the, with the SL Foundation and some other uh, partners. Um, and we are developing, as part of, uh, of this project, uh, um, manuals and tools on how to improve the allocation system of the available housing, with the, the needs of users. So we will be having an event uh, tomorrow in M2 at uh, 11. So you are all uh, welcome to this event uh, to, to learn uh, more about these kind of practical implementations, uh, uh, implementation tools. Um, then a few words also from, from, from, uh, uh, from ESPD. Um, at ESPD, we would like to, to, to work with many organizations as possible uh, so we can all together uh, build the, the, the, the support services of, of tomorrow. But I would like to, to, to finish uh, this panel. Uh, you already did, uh, Nermin. I ask panelists to finish with three keywords, not a sentence, just very three keywords on how you see uh, the, uh, the, the future development of person-centered housing models. So, Nermin, your three key words. First, <clears throat> first word would be reliability. You need reliable data to start a serious process. Second one would be responsibility. So, you change institutional care to giving an each person responsibility for its own life. To have a responsibility, you need to have a choice in life, and that would be the third word. Mirjana? Dignity, respect, important to or important for. Love, conflict resolution, and collaboration. Inclusive society, meaningful life, valuable person. So, Ergi, and, yeah? To have a choice. Legnagyobb biztonság. The, the, the best safe. És legnagyobb önállóság. And the, the best in the, uh, independent, independency. That would be. Hesh sem csinál a legalmas. Nobody will be uh, stay aside. Uh, thank you very much. I also have three keywords. Um, thank you, thank you, and thank you. And um, now, as I told you, this is the last uh, panel. So now the award ceremony will take place here. So remember to take all your belongings with you. Don't take the, the chairs or the tables. They are cute and beautiful, but they should stay here. And, and then, um, I would love to, to see you all for the award ceremony. Thank you once more. A big applause to all our panelists. And have a nice evening. <laughs>